the veterinary nurse has smeared a sample on a microscopic slide. What is this sample? Where did this sample come from? What is the nurse doing? And why does she need the microscope? Is there anything that is present in the sample that she needs to check for? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video about coproscopy sponsored by Topayo Vets. This video shows surgical procedures. Viewer discretion is advised. On 27 March 2019, a chihuahua was brought in because it had diarrhea for two days. Diarrhea occurs when feces are discharged from the bowels in liquid form. Diarrhea can occur because of many reasons, and one way to diagnose the pet's condition is coproscopy. What is coproscopy? Coproscopy is the microscopic analysis of stool samples typically to detect and identify foreign bodies and blood. Coproscopy is important because it allows the vet to accurately check for specific parasites in the stools so that he can find out why the patient was having diarrhea and he can provide a more accurate diagnosis. Coproscopy is usually done by the vet with the aim of diagnosis and it is done for the patient to confirm the causes of its symptoms. Coproscopy will be conducted when the pet shows symptoms of diarrhea or on newly purchased puppies and kittens because parasites are more likely to be found in young animals who have not been dewormed. How is coproscopy done? There are two methods, which are the quantitative and the qualitative methods. The quantitative method involves measuring the concentration of parasites in the stool, whereas the qualitative method involves observing the stool sample under a microscope. First, a stool sample is needed, and the vet will use a cotton bud to take it from the patient's rectum. Secondly, he will smear the stool sample onto a microscopic slide and place a cover slip over it. He will then place the stool sample under a microscope for observation. Before we move on to how we can identify the parasites, here are the common types of parasites in dogs and cats. In dogs, they are roundworms, tapeworms, hookworms, and whipworms. In cats, they are roundworms, tapeworms, and hookworms. These different parasites can be differentiated based on the structures of their eggs and the structures of their larva. When looking at the egg structures, we can first look at the shape of the egg. Here are the main shapes of parasite eggs. The eggs can be ovoid, where it is round and has an oval shape. It can also be spherical, where it is round, globular, and circular. Aside from these two shapes, eggs of parasites can have other shapes shown here as well. They can be ellipsoid, egg-shaped, symmetrical, asymmetrical, contain sharp polar ends, triangular, quadrangular, or hemispherical. Secondly, we can also look out for the thickness of the sidewall. Thin sidewalls can be found in hookworm eggs, while thick sidewalls can be found in roundworm, tapeworm, and whipworm eggs. Thirdly, we can also take note of the presence of polar plugs. Polar plugs look like caps on both ends of the eggs. They can be seen in whipworm eggs as we can see them protruding out the two ends of the egg. Fourthly, we can also look out for strier on the shells of eggs, which are stripe-like and can be either concentric or radial. Concentric strier generally look like circular layers surrounding the egg. 
while radial stria look like layers that radiate outwards from the egg. By taking note of the features of parasite eggs, such as their shapes, sidewall thickness, polar plugs, and stria, we can find out what parasite is present so that a more suitable treatment can be provided. We shall now take a look at the eggs and larvae of the different parasites. Firstly, for roundworms, this is the structure of its larva. There are three common kinds of roundworms. Toxocara canis is found in dogs, Toxocara cati is found in cats, and Toxascaris leonina is found in both cats and dogs. We can easily identify these three roundworm eggs because of their spherical shape and thick side walls which contain concentric stria. Secondly, for tapeworms, this is the structure of its larva. The two common kinds are Dipylidium caninum and Tiniidae, which can be both found in cats and dogs. The eggs of Dipylidium caninum are small and spherical with thin side walls and are usually clustered together in groups of 20. On the other hand, the eggs of Tiniidae are spherical with thick side walls that contain radial stria. Thirdly, for hookworms, this is the structure of the larva. There are two common kinds, which are Ancylostoma and Ancinaria, and they can both be found in cats and dogs as well. Hookworm eggs are ovoid shaped and they have thin side walls. Fourthly, for whipworms, this is the structure of its larva. Whipworms are also known as Tricuris valpis and they are commonly found in dogs. Its eggs are ovoid shaped with thick side walls. One special feature that makes this egg easy to identify is its polar plugs at the two ends of the egg. With this, we can identify the common parasites in stool samples. After identifying the parasites in the patient, the vet can then prescribe treatment accordingly. Typically, tablets would be given and these tablets are able to treat the common parasites in cats and dogs. For the Chihuahua, it was also given an IV drip, probiotics, and ID to ease its upset digestive system. In conclusion, coproscopy is a very useful diagnosis tool. It is relatively easy to carry out in clinical practices because it does not require a lot of equipment. It also provides a more substantial basis for diagnosis because in some cases, diarrhea symptoms are not enough information to provide an informed diagnosis. This Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video was done by intern Chung Jia En with the help of veterinary nurses Su Mon Lin and Reina Mutia Cardinio, as well as veterinary surgeons Dr. Sing Kong Yuan and Dr. Daniel Singh. For more information, Please contact 65-6254-3326 or 65-9668-6468 or email 99pubs at gmail.com or visit topayovets.com. For more Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational videos, please visit topayovets.com slash videos.htm.